What is going on? My name is Eric McGregor with Alesis, and I'm here to show you the brief bullets of how to set up the Alesis IO26 FireWire interface to use with Cubase LE as your audio source. This is a great little piece. I love the mic pre's on it. It has a ton of expandability on there. You can uh, run, if you have racks of mic pre's, you can run ADAT into the back of these guys, spit it, and fire everything FireWire into your computer. First things first, before you even open the box, go to the website, www.alesis.com. That's A-L-E-S-I-S.com. Download the latest drivers. If you go to alesis.com, find support, downloads, find recording category, and then you can find either all or under the FireWire category. You'll see the IO26. Click on that. Download the latest version. Right now I'm using the Mac version that was updated on uh, January 28th, 2008. It's version 3.0.81.1080. You can get the drivers there and you also get the hardware direct monitoring software there as well. Uh, just to pull this up and show you really fast so you see what I'm talking about. Alesis HDM. This is a great little virtual mixer for all of your uh, outputs. You have outputs 1 and 2, you can do a discrete mix there. Outputs 3 and 4, change it up. 5 and 6, a different mix. 7 8 as well. Uh, you also have, I like to bump the wide, bring everything out a little bit wider. It looks more like a hands-on mixer. And over here on the left, you also have a nice little configuration for your headphones too. You can adjust which mix is going out the headphones too, as well as your spit if out as well. So first things first, again, download the drivers before you do anything. Don't connect anything to your computer before you download and install the drivers. Once you've downloaded and installed everything, you can then connect via FireWire to your computer. Hook this guy up, and now I can go in, open up Cubase LE. Thank you to our friends at Steinberg. This is a really great software, whether you're just starting off or you're already well into your recording techniques there are plenty of options inside of Cubase LE um, even though it's a light edition this is probably more than enough for anybody that's starting off and still a total amount of capacity for anybody that that knows what they're doing already once you're inside Cubase go to devices remember you're connected device setup and uh, on your audio VST system You've got built-in audio, so just so you see what it looks like if you haven't already done this. It may say built-in audio on these guys, so you click on VST Audio System. Click Elise's Firewire. Yes, I would like to switch. Everything switches over. If you click right below that, it says Elise's Firewire. Now you see all of your 26 inputs versus if I had to go back to my built-in audio, switch to that. Now my built-in audio has just the, the audio inputs on the computer. So I'll go back one more time, change it over to FireWire. Yes, I want to switch to the driver. Now I go to the FireWire and you see everything there. As well as your MIDI ports, you see in and out are coming from your releases FireWire. Hit OK. Now I can open up a new project. We'll just do 4 stereo, 8 mono. You can save them wherever you want. Save it to your desktop or create the folder for it. Anytime you click on a track, as long as you have your inspector highlighted, so take your time, find my mouse here, follow it, follow it, this little tab right here, show inspector, click on that, that way anytime you click on a track, off to the left over here, again find my mouse, it'll show you all the different details for that particular track. If I click on my input routing, down below that is your output routing. Input routing, I can just select stereo in one. I'm using the Alesis SR18 drum machine as my sound source, and that has stereo outputs off the back of that. I'm running that into inputs one and two on the face of the IO26. I'll give you a screenshot here in a second of that. And then uh, you've got obviously the gain controls on the front. Uh, make sure to, once you do connect via FireWire, you'll have a little yellow LED in the very center of the face of the IO26. That basically indicates it is sending and receiving FireWire successfully. Uh, you have, again, LEDs on the face of this guy. So if I hit play on the SR18, I now have green LEDs firing on the screen of that. And I can also go back really fast just to show you guys. I'm going to go into my recent items and find the hardware direct monitoring and look on channels 1 and 2. I now have basically my audio firing on these guys. So I can come back into here, arm record track one. 
And there is my WAV file that's recording. I'm recording audio from the IO26. I've got a drum machine, the SR18, plugged into that. And this is my WAV file that appears as I'm recording live inside of Cubase. And stop the recording and uh, save that. Go back and build your layers. And uh, it's a, again, it's a great software. I love this hardware piece. It's a really easy, simple setup. It just requires doing a few device configurations. Again, number one, make sure you download the drivers from the website and install those before you do anything. After that, you're safe to connect to the computer, open up Cubase, go to your devices, find Elisa's Firewire, and open up that, switch the driver over, and you should be good. From there, it's just basically navigating around the Cubase interface. Have fun. Enjoy. Thanks again. This is Eric with Elisis. Have a good one.